Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we will be solving slope-intercept form word problems while trying to find the value of m or b. Now, if you haven't watched part 1 to this video, it will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check that video out before watching this one. So here we have two examples. The first one says, a car rental service charges an initial fee of $90. You had to pay the rental a total of $270 for renting a car for four days. What is the cost per day of renting the car? So let's start off by writing down the slope intercept form equation y equals mx plus b. So in the word problem, we're given three numbers. We have an initial fee of $90 a total of $270 and four days and we are asked to find the cost per day. So y is a total number. In this case since we're talking about money it will be the total cost. So you had to pay the rental a total of $270 so 270 must be the y value. So let's label that 270. And m is a rate of change, usually indicated by the words per or each. And we have what is the cost per day? So m is the variable we're going to solve for. Now x is related to m. And since m is the cost per day, x must be the number of days, or 4 in this case. And b is a fixed value. It could be an initial fee, a fixed rate, and it'll be $90. So once we plug the numbers into the equation, we'll get 270 equals m times 4 plus 90. Now we can subtract both sides by 90 and we'll get 270 minus 90 or 180 equals m times 4 or we can also write that as 4m. Now if we divide both sides by 4 we're going to be left with 180 divided by 4 equals m or 180 divided by 4, which is 45, equals m. So you had to pay $45 per day for renting the car. And that will be the final answer for the first example. Now the next example says, water flows into a water tank at 5 gallons per minute. After 25 minutes, you notice that the tank has 172 gallons of water. How many gallons were in the tank before more water was added? So let's start by writing y equals mx plus b. We can underline the three numbers given. We have 5 gallons per minute, after 25 minutes, and 172 gallons of water. And we're asking to find the number of gallons before more water is added. So, gallons before. So we know that per is a keyword for m, so five gallons per minute must be the value of m, or five. And since we have five gallons per minute and we have 25 minutes, um, x must be the number of minutes, or 25. Now, after the 25 minutes, we notice that there are 172 gallons of water in the tank, and 172 gallons seems to be the total amount of water in the tank. So that would be y. So we're trying to find the value of b. So let's plug in the numbers into the equation. We have 172 equals 5 times 25 plus b. 
If we multiply 5 times 25, we get 125. And we can subtract 125 from both sides to isolate B. So once we do that, we're left with 172 minus 125, or 47, equals B. So we had 47 gallons of water before we started adding 5 gallons per minute. So 47 gallons of water is our final answer. If this video is helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.